Although rabbits are cute and cuddly, and subjectively look the part of lovable, and perhaps even lazy, rabbits are actually bundles of energy that require daily exercise in order to stay healthy and reach their full potential. In this video, we'll briefly discuss the importance of physical activity, why rabbits need exercise, what can transpire if they don't get enough or none at all, and the groundworks for exercise ranging from physical activity within an enclosure, free roaming, and physical activity within your own home. Before we begin, we'd like to thank you for watching and taking a few minutes out of your day to spend them with us. Your time and your support is much appreciated. Let's get started. Rabbits are built for speed. Exercise is a must. So what are the specifics? Rabbits must receive, at the very minimum, three hours of exercise per day, whether that consists of running around in their cage, outside of their enclosure, in your yard, in your home, etc., as long as your pet is safe, then most reasonable and responsible locations are just fine. The target time of day should be dawn and dusk. This is when rabbits are the most active. Rabbits need time to play and exercise. They should be allowed to do this at least twice per day. The consequences of lack of proper exercise or no real exercise at all can be extremely harmful to your rabbit's health, both mental and physical. Rabbits need their freedom. Without it, they can become stressed and anxious. This can lead to depression. While weight gain is the obvious con, weight gain can carry with it other serious concerns such as cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Boredom and behavioral issues can also arise if your rabbit is confined to its living quarters without the ability to exercise. This can promote alternative behaviors such as overgrooming, resulting in bald patches, gnawing at the cage, tooth damage from said gnawing, etc. On the behavioral front, your rabbit could turn on you. With pent-up stress, anxiety, and energy, your pet can become flat-out aggressive and destructive. This includes not only self-harm, but potential harm to you. We all know the story, and we've seen it played out, even with us humans. If you keep a person a prisoner in their home, bad things can happen. You certainly don't need me to tell you. The same is true for these lovable rabbits. Exercise is more than physical. Rabbits need it in order to be sound in all aspects of health. Without it, they are all but destined to become problematic, unhealthy, and live a much shorter life. Time spent when talking about exercise comes in the form of supervision. Rabbits can get into some serious danger if they are left alone to roam. Their natural instincts of chewing and digging can potentially lead to an unintentional self-harm, not to mention potential damage to your property. When it comes to general engagement, in order to keep your rabbit in a sound mental state, spend at least two hours in total with your rabbit at various parts of the day. This, of course, does not necessarily include exercise time. Rabbits need this interaction. They also need to socialize with other rabbits to stay happy. Of course, if you only have one rabbit, it's all on you. Do your best to keep your rabbit in good spirits. Rabbits are social creatures, so they need you. It's all about supervision and positive engagement. When it comes to exercise, always make sure that your rabbit can do its thing without fear of injury or danger. As a helpful tip, your rabbit's pen should have at least 32 square feet of room. Runs and play areas are an absolute must. If your pet is running loose in your home, rabbit-proof your house as much as possible. Cover or remove valuables from your occupied room. Protect the carpet, remove cords and cables from the carpet, etc. You can find more information concerning this topic of rabbit proofing and constructing the perfect hutch for your pet over at rabbitcaretips.com. We'll provide additional details momentarily. Rabbits are quite intelligent, so they need action that involves a degree of mental stimulation. While rabbits love to run, that's only a small part of the story. They love to investigate their surroundings. They need the perfect mix of physical exercise with a bit of intrigue. Some play options can include an exercise wheel more or less a larger version of a hamster wheel, a treat ball. This is a plastic or wooden ball that contains a tasty treat inside. Once your rabbit pushes the ball around a few times, a treat will emerge. Toss in a couple of raisins and let your pet just have at it. Tunnels are another purpose of engagement, and they can offer creative activities. Darting through these tubes is something many rabbits can't get enough of. Ramps and platforms, yet another form of physical activity and mental stimulation. Cardboard boxes are also a plus. Rather old school, but they still work like a charm. Rabbits love to hide, jump, and chew. A cardboard box will allow your pet to do all three. How about a bucket of hay? 
or a bucket of newspaper. Rabbits love to dig and burrow, and buckets are a good option. Hide some treats in that hay or newspaper. This will please your rabbit all the more as something tasty is underneath. The final option on the list involves wicker balls. Just something to nudge and push around the house. Thick wicker can also make for a good chew toy, and chewing can help to file down your rabbit's teeth. You don't need to break the bank on quality toys. As you can see, rabbit toys can come in many varieties. The important thing is that your rabbit gets its proper exercise and stimulation. As long as you cover your basics, then your rabbit will be happy and content while avoiding unnecessary bouts of stress, anxiety, and physical health ailments. Although that will conclude things for the video portion of this material, if you'd like to know a bit more concerning this subject matter in detail, please head on over to the aforementioned rabbitcaretips.com. We've prepared an in-depth article just for you. Are you watching us off-site? If so, please make use of that initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to the information. We hope you find it helpful. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for spending a few minutes of your day with us. Much appreciated. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we'll talk to you later.